Um, so Dr. Debbie has been, you know, walking back and forth, you know, talking, referencing, you know, being water walker, water walker. And that's been our theme for like a couple of years now, because God's just had us on this amazing roller coaster of a journey that I want to trade for the world. But anyway, so this is a verse that I've just been standing on because through our journey, I just really want people to see the Lord. Just see the Lord. What do you do? So in Psalms 109, verse 27, that they may know that this is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. The Lord did all this stuff because they did this, because they were willing and obedient. And then the other thing that hit me today, I thought, oh, I'll lay down and rest this afternoon, right? <laughs> but no, as I laid there with my eyes closed, the Lord just kept bringing stuff. And one of the nights, Dr. W, you had shared, like, you know, you're just walking, and then also, whoosh, here comes a blessing that you weren't even, I mean, you weren't even, you weren't even looking for. Like, it just showed up. It just whooshed. <laughs> and it's, uh, and uh, Jeremy's going to take it from there. <laughs> so um, this morning, Bob and I were sitting at the table and was kind of planning out the week a little bit. And I said, hey, I'm going to take Asher with me tomorrow. You take away for the water back there. Our washer isn't quite set up yet. And she goes, yeah, that sounds great. But she says, um, I don't have a car. <laughs> and I said, that's a great point. <laughs> and I wasn't even thinking. And 30 minutes later, I got a text and said, hey, we need to see you guys before church this morning because we, we want to talk to you. And uh, so we went and met with some people before we came to church. We were running way late and it's like 10 to 9 and I'm like, what are we doing here? We're going to be to church. And this gentleman uh, had something in his hand and it's a key and he says, this is yours. Oh, no. 300 fully loaded, is that right? Yeah. Fully loaded. And God, we, we've talked about a second vehicle. It would be nice to have a second vehicle. And God just overwhelmed us this morning. And Pastor Rodney, we were down the river almost every Sunday morning and say, how are you going to react when you get your blessing, when you get your breakthrough? And I want to be a witness to say it looked nothing <laughs> like what I thought it was going to look because we were so overwhelmed. We were speechless and there wasn't dancing and running around. It was just, I, I, couldn't, I still can't believe it. Yeah. So God is good. Grab a hold of these principles because they work. Yeah. Doesn't matter who you are. God's not a respecter of persons. Yeah, right. Respect your principles and your faith. Mm. Come on. That's, that's our God. He's a big guy. Yes, <laughs> Hallelujah.